this uh, in this video, I will look at the uh, the nozzle outlet. Might be derived in a previous uh, video that the critical pressure ratio was equal to this uh, expression here, and we also know from another uh, video that in an adiabatic uh, system, the the ratio between the pressures and the temperatures is given in by this this expression here. Okay, so there's our two uh, two expressions. Uh, finally, again from another video, uh, we saw that the efficiency um, of of a nozzle uh, or compressor, whatever, or turbine, I should say, um, would be given by this expression. Okay, so I'm going to cross multiply by T9 ideal minus T8 and then bring the T8 across to give me that. So now I have a value for T9. I'm going to divide across by T8. So that's T in here, that's just uh, T9 over T8 minus 1. I haven't done <coughs> really much there and brought the T8 out. And uh, dividing this side by T8, I get an expression for T9 over T8. Because I know T9 over T8 is equal to this guy. So the critical temperature um, is equal to that guy there. So T9 over T8 is equal to the inverse of that. And I can plug that in to that equation. So I can say that instead of T9 over T8, I can say T2 over gamma plus 1 uh, <coughs> uh, minus 1. So I'm going to bring this 1 across is equal to this this guy here. So that's it carried forward. Okay, so two minus <coughs> one is the same as saying it's minus gamma plus one all over gamma plus one. So one is really gamma plus one all over gamma plus one. So it's like saying minus gamma plus one. That's all I've done there. So that gives me uh that because 2 uh, minus 1 gives me plus 1 or minus gamma gives me minus gamma. Uh, I'm bringing the minus 1 outside, so gamma minus 1 over gamma plus 1. And I'm now going to divide by the efficiency. Okay, bringing that to one this side. Then this one here. I can bring that across, so that becomes a plus one. So I get one minus all of this. So if I want to get the P9 over P8, I get the gamma minus one over gamma root of this guy. So I say P9 over P8 is that expression there. Our P9 is equal to P8 times uh, that expression. Okay, so <coughs> I'm just going to plug my uh, plug the values in. So we know that P8 was 40. 3.83. We were given the efficiency is 95%. Uh, we know what the specific uh, ratio of specific heat capacities of the gas is. So that will give me a value of 22.86 um, kilopascals. Okay, <coughs> going back to this equation then, I have P9, I have P8. Um, and I want to calculate, and I have T8, and I want to calculate T9, so I just cross multiply by T8. So T8 was 614, and I multiply by these guys, that's giving me 528 degrees Kelvin, so that's the ideal value of T9. But we've seen from the efficiency that the ideal value minus the actual value, we can calculate the actual value of T9. So I'm just going to run across um, the efficiency here, 95, we're going to multiply that by this guys, so bring them up, and that gives an add on bring the T8 across. That going to give me a value of uh, 532. So that's the output uh, temperature and output pressure of uh, the nozzle. <coughs> the uh, velocity uh, of the jet, so the velocity of gas coming out of here, 
that can be determined from this equation, which again was covered in a previous uh, video. And just plug those some values in, and I get uh, a velocity of 433 um, meters per second. Okay, so in the next uh, video, we'll look at the, the fan nozzle.